people, there's another statistic. This one comes from the Federal Reserve. It's a statistic called the capacity utilization rate. It measures what proportion of the tools, equipment, machines, office space is being used for production and what part is sitting idle, what part of our capacity is being utilized. And the Federal Reserve has now pointed out for some years it's roughly hovering around 20% is not being utilized. 20% of our tools, equipment, machines, vehicle fleets, you name it, sits idle. Okay, you don't need an advanced degree in economics. I have one, but you don't need it. Uh, to understand that if there are 20 to 25 million people who want to work and don't have a chance, and we have 20% of the tools, equipment, raw materials for those people to work with, that a system that cannot put these two together to produce a quantity of wealth that would solve most of our social problems quickly is a system that doesn't work very well. That's the fundamental problem of our economic system, that it produces a crisis of this sort. I won't take the time to tell you the details of what happens to people who are unemployed, particularly for long periods of time, and the current unemployment is very long for people who are without work. They suffer self-esteem problems, they suffer mental and physical health problems, their families are more likely to break up, they lose the skills that they once had when they're out of work for long periods of time, their children have more difficulty in school. The costs of these kinds of crises last for generations. The, the amount of human damage, the amount of waste of resources is beyond calculation. A system that does this, let alone a system that does it repeatedly, cannot talk about efficiency. Because whatever the efficiency is of a particular factory or a particular production process is completely overwhelmed by the inefficiency of massive numbers of unemployed people, unutilized resources, and lost output that could meet social needs.